Now, let's look at the discovery stage. In a SACA exam, you may be asked to explain a civil pretrial procedure. Unless the question is worded otherwise, you can choose to write about the discovery stage as a whole or a specific stage within discovery. Same goes for pleadings and the specific stages within pleadings. While pleadings allows the parties to clarify issues and prepare their cases, the discovery stage gives parties access to evidence held by the opposing party, which ultimately encourages an out-of-court settlement. This overall purpose is reflected in the four steps within discovery. Unlike pleadings, these steps don't necessarily occur in a specific order. One step is interrogatories. During interrogatories, each party writes down a list of questions which requests more information from the other party. The hope is that they can get a deeper understanding of each other's cases. There's also the notice of discovery, in which the parties demand to see relevant documents, like medical reports. There's oral discovery, in which the opposing party verbally answers any questions that a party may have. And finally, the medical examination. The defendant may ask the plaintiff to be examined by a medical expert at a specific time and place. There's not quite as much to memorise here as there is in pleadings. Make sure that you memorise all four of these steps as well as the overall purpose of discovery. Thanks for watching and happy studying!